Good morning! It's another beautiful day on the Ireland Way. I like to think it's mum and dad blessing me <laughs> from heaven to make sure I can do this walk for them all the way from the southern coast to the northern coast of Ireland on the Ireland Way. And it's day 19. I'm almost halfway. Wednesday, May 31st. And I'm leaving Portomna and I'm heading for Conflirt. Well, so long, Ormond Way. Hello, how many way? And what's your name? Michael Davin is my name. Michael Davin? Daverton. Daverton. Good morning, Michael Daverton. Good morning, how are you? <laughs> well, thank you. And what's your first name? Linda Murphy. Linda Murphy. A great Irish name, maybe Cork. Uh, Dublin. Dublin, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now you're saying time's going so quickly, is it? It is, yes. I find it flying along. It's the only to go since I was just a teenager. <laughs> yes. And now suddenly um, I'm 106. Yeah. <laughs> How did that happen? Well, isn't this pleasant? This is the levee. There's Mary and Randall from Australia. Safe travels. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. I thought I had finally met some other through hikers. They're doing uh, just a section around this area, um, but they have been traveling for quite a while. Czech Republic and, mm, where did she say? Germany, and now a few weeks in Ireland. Oh, to be retired, eh? And the chase is on once again. <laughs> I guess the Hymeny Way needs a little trail maintenance too. Walking a levee. Whoa. Walking a levee. Whoa. And don't it feel good? <laughs> <laughs> or some, something to happen, some stimulation. Here we go. There's a nice, clear, accessible style. And the levee goes on. And the levee goes on. Well, this is great. This is a little shoot going on for an ongoing documentary of these fellas going all over the country. They're artists playing, shooting, documenting. And thank you very much for letting me participate. It's called Begley's. It'll be on TG Cahar. I have to look it up. Longest river in Ireland, the River Shannon. Now this is an accessible way to get into and out of a trail. You see, room for big people, small people, people with backpacks, people in wheelchairs, a parent who doesn't want to let go of a little one's hand as they go through. Well done. And just like that, I'm off the levee and heading west away from the River Shannon. And whoo, what a temperature difference. I miss the cool wind. 
that was coming off that river all day up on the levee. It was great. It's really hot here on the asphalt. Shade, glorious shade. I'm finally not burning. This field is Occupido. Hi. Um, bulls? I think so. Oh, man. Okay, so it's confirmed by obvious means that that is a herd of bulls who had their heads down low looking at me. Very different from the way a cow does. So there's the style up there. I've been walking down this tree line to try to see if there's another way to get across the field adjacent to them, not their field. Hey, did it. I had to throw my poles up and climb up this uh, steep embankment with my hands and there's a concealed wire fence there. Then push down the electric fence with my cork handles and over I am yay I hope those guys yeah I'm pretty sure there's a fence between this field and the bulls who are at the next field beyond those trees oh my gosh so here we are again hello boys there's where is it pointing with my right pole there's the style I wouldn't come over I went way down the, the tree line crossed into the other field up that side of their pasture, crept, not crept, but you know, kind of stealth walked across the top of their pasture and then found I had to come down here between these two pastures, nice and wide, protected by an electric fence, to this style. So all I would have had to have done if I wasn't scared of the bulls is cross from there to here. And then I guess I'm getting out over there. Okay, hi, Mini Way. It's time to get to those far back road, Ugh, it's got me, <laughs> styles. And let's just get this stuff trimmed back because someone's, someone's gonna get hurt and people aren't gonna have good memories of hiking your section. And we want more people to enjoy the trail, not less, right? Oh my gosh, this is quite the festivity. I made it. I made it in time. Good morning, it's day 20 on the Ireland Way and I'm just leaving Clonfort. Wow, what a special place, what a special occasion. I happened to time right coming into last night. And then I camped just beside the school, which was beside the church hall. <laughs> so I'm on my way to Ockram, I think it is this morning. Uh, 28, 29 kilometers. And I just need to find a place for breakfast. I don't feel comfortable staying uh, on school property on a soccer pitch. Breakfast time. Yep, I found a spot. <laughs> Side of the road on a stone wall. Why not, right? Ah, feeling much better having had breakfast. I just need to find a water source to wash my face and brush my teeth. I can use my bottled water, but I don't have a lot and it is getting warm. Meantime, I forgot to mention today is a special day. Day 20. Today is hump day. Woohoo! Day 20 because I'm going to be walking for 40 days in total. 
with uh, six rest days added to that. And here they come. And here they are. They've all galloped over to see me. I don't know if you can hear it, but did you know Ireland has a cuckoo, cuckoo bird. So this is a bog. This is actually a commercial bog and uh, so interesting for somebody who comes from a country where we burn wood. They burn peat here. The, uh, all the old layers over the years settle so densely and that becomes the actual earth becomes burnable, a combustible resource, which means cha-ching, cha-ching for the Irish economy. Holy moly. I can't even describe to you the last hour I've had. This, see the bog over my shoulder and the scrub over my other shoulder? Well, I was following the map and it had me coming through that and I thought, Come on, if others have gone through here, I can, I can, I can. And eventually, I just, I got absolutely dead end trapped. Then there's all these prickly, so prickly bushes. Like, no path, no way, no give. But, but I was determined. And eventually I said, nope, I can't. And I came out of the bush and I thought, okay, I know this is a commercial bog. So there has to be a road somewhere. And uh, for God's sake, I come out of the bush and I see, who do I see but the little yellow man? Oh, don't follow all trails into the bog. Follow the little yellow man. So day 20 is a pretty quiet one for the next, oh, I don't know how many hours. Flat, long, quiet. Hmm, where to get water? I've only got maybe 500 mils left. I'm not dehydrated yet, but I'm not taking in as much as I would like. A lovely shady spot for a lunch break before I hit the open road out from under the trees and it comes with company <laughs> you girls have your lunch I have mine oh oh dear <laughs> it's that time of year Everybody's excited. This is Stephen and Geraldine. Geraldine Scannell. Scannell? Scannell, yeah. Scannell, yeah. Oh, well, thank you very much you for the welcome. water. <laughs> I, I won't dehydrate now. Offering. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. I had tried one house where I got barked away by aggressive dogs. Another house, dog barking inside like crazy and nobody home. And then the third house, I hit the jackpot with Stephen and Geraldine. Lovely people. Wish I could stay and visit a little bit more. But uh, they filled my water. We chit-chatted at the door. Turns out Geraldine was also at Clonfort Cathedral last night for the very special mass. Anyway, feeling much better. Uh, downed a bunch of cold water and uh, ready for the afternoon. This canal was made in the 1800s as a uh, an access route through the middle of Ireland connecting all kinds of counties I think it's six counties that otherwise weren't able to get to one another well, I'm told that this heat wave is supposed to last another week I really need it to last another three weeks that would be helpful I did have to take 
a cool down break and I advise anybody else who's hiking in hot weather as soon as you feel that core temperature rising just get in the shade have a seat have a drink and it's amazing how your body recovers unless you wait too long then if your temperature doesn't come down in the shade then you're in trouble and uh, seek medical attention if possible anyway this ends my public service announcement for the moment. Did I mention it's hot? Woo! I'm just a few K from Agrim, and uh, I'm hoping wherever I'm headed, there's either shade or air conditioning. And either way, a cold beverage. Okay, this I is Paddy. What were you saying? Stay in touch with me, Linda. Yes. Let me know where you are, and I'll try and arrange along the route. Oh, thank you very much. There. Paddy's a wonderful trail angel. And this is Kathleen, one of his hikers. <laughs> and Kathleen is hosting me tonight. <laughs> thank you, Kathleen. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Woo! seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Woo! Da, 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 okay. Da, 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 da. Now, what's the secret, Peter? No, you walk, as I said, anti-clockwise. Okay? Yeah. So your hand is actually going on. So that's why the, if you did it any other way, this clash. Oh, I see. Oh.